Right then, this is a quick walk around video, and this is for a Honda Civic 2.2 EX diesel. This particular car is a, one of the newer shaped 2012 models, uh, EX with 87,000 miles on the clock. Finished in this really lovely grey, and the car's in absolutely fantastic condition throughout, it really is. On the front of the car here, the lights and lenses are completely clear and intact. Bonnet itself, for a car of this mileage, is amazingly clean and free of pretty much any stone chips. What there is will be very, very, very minor indeed. Let's come around the off side of the car first. Look at the panels there, but it is unbelievably clean in the panel work. It's so clean and tidy. The front wing there, pretty much unmarked. I'm trying to get my shadow out of the way, so I do apologise. Lovely sunny day, but not pretty good for the videos. Front alloy, absolutely as clean as a whistle. So I'll come backwards, so it's there. Uh, See there, panel work is just wonderfully, wonderfully clean and original. Rear offside alloy as for the front, absolutely unmarked. And then the back of the car, again, very, very, very clean and tidy. Just to squat down on this near side, which again is pretty much mirror smooth in the panels, it's wonderfully clean. Rear near side alloy, absolutely unmarked. So I just try to get the sun out of the way there. And I'll look down here again, it's just fantastically clean. Yeah, just come down to the final alloy again on the near side on the front there. That's why it's difficult with the sun just to get the angles just right, but trust me, this is a really fabulous car in really lovely condition. Coming to the boot area, as you'd expect from these Civics, you know, it's one of the very, very biggest boots in its class, absolutely huge. 60-40 um, fold on the rear seats, and obviously you've got the recessed cubby hole down there as well, and if you pull that back, you can get some extra boot depth there as well, uh, and all in very nice condition. Coming to the back of the car now, I've got the seats now in their vertical position in the back, this forms part of this utterly ingenious magic seat affair. It's just brilliantly done. Um, people find all sorts of uses for this. Back of the front seats there in really lovely condition. Full set of tailored mats for the car as well. Just drop them down, it's beautifully engineered as you put behind it. Just do, pull the lever up and drop it down. It's as simple as that. The seats down now, the rear, the leather, rear leather work looks like a car that's hardly had any use in the back. It's just in wonderful, wonderful condition. And you see just how much leg room there is. There's tons of leg room. And that's, that's with the front seat set to my leg room and I'm sort of six foot tall. So you see just how much space you can have. Coming to the front, front passenger door card, absolutely superb, looks like new. Footwell area is all very, very clean. And the front passenger seat, again, just looks it's done a third of the mileage it's actually done it's an amazing condition driver's door card as with the others been kept really really nicely it's obviously a very very sort of gentle hands looking after this car because they've kept it wonderfully well driver's seat again in really good condition given the miles on the vehicle so inside the car now engines running through this section of the video so you can actually see the dashboard illuminated the dashboard itself looks absolutely as new. It's in absolutely fantastic condition. I'm trying to get the camera to go up across there with that snag in the wire. Hopefully you can see 87,169 miles. Sat nav, very high quality fare, all working exactly as it should. Never popped the car into reverse. You've got that lovely grid parking camera, which actually complements some rear parking sensors fitted to this particular vehicle as well. Dual zone climate control system, all working exactly as they should, and heated seats. But it really has been kept fantastically well. It's you know, one of the very, very best we've had. Then you've got this wonderful, wonderful view as a driver of this. You know, I think it's probably the best dashboard in its class by a country mile. And you can see there, there's engine running, no warning lights on the car at all. Um, Multifunction steering wheel, cruise control, audio controls, hands free functions, auto lights, and auto wipers. It really, really is fabulous, this vehicle. The video just doesn't, doesn't do it justice at all, in all honesty. 
What will follow this particular video will be a road test of this very car. Right then, this is a road test video for a Honda Civic 2.2 EX diesel. And this particular car is registered BF12 HSX and mileage at the start of the road test is 87,163 miles. Reason for doing the road test is basically so potential customers actually get to see the car in operation and it's the very car you're seeing in the advert as well. You know, we're ac acutely aware that lots of our customers come from not just the UK but all over mainland Europe. Um, so the least we can do is go to the trouble of actually showing the car on operation. That way if there's any issues on the car in terms of the way it drives mechanically or otherwise then we can and we will relay it back to you. It's the, so it's the sole purpose of doing this. It's also done on the very quiet country roads close to our premises so we'd hope we'd be representative of what you'd feel yourself if offered a test drive on the vehicle. Coming to the car itself uh, starting with the engine, engine starts absolutely instantly of course as, you, as you'd expect from these wonderful wonderful engines. Uh, settles to completely smooth, even idle. Uh, a 2.2 engine is an absolute gem, it pulls so smoothly through the entire rev range, it's got tons of low down grunt, uh, but it's just the, the docility and refinement that the car gives which is wonderful, it's a really fabulous engine. Um, there's no warning lights on the dashboard relating to the engine or any other part of the car. Uh, engine's been running for quite some time now. Temperature gauge is running to the third, which is exactly where it should be on a Honda car, whether it be petrol or diesel. So that's all in anyway. But the engine is, it, it feels like I'm driving one that's done 10,000 miles, not, not the miles it's done, uh, which is fairly typical of the breed because they are incredibly tough. Um, Engine then feeds through clutch and into gearbox. Clutch on the car is absolutely perfect, smooth, bite point is exactly where it should be. Uh, clutch in or out, there's no change in engine note, no vibrations, nothing like that at all. It's all absolutely as it should be. Um, sorry, I just should have gone. Left the poor chap waiting for me. Um, Engine clutch then, sorry, feeds through into the Honda six-speed gearbox, um, which again just feels like it's done about 10,000 miles, not the miles it's done. It, it just feels absolutely without any um, wear in it at all. The gearboxes in these Civics are absolutely brilliant, not just because they're tough and reliable as you'd expect from a Honda, but because they're just joyful to use. It's you know it's a company, and you know this is why we we do love Honda cars. Because they don't just throw a gearbox in it and say, well, that's good enough. Uh, they want you to have a bit of driver enjo enjoyment, um, make the gearbox feel as though it's an ally to you when you're driving along, not just something you waft about. Because um, like most gearboxes, obviously the gear levers joined by cable now through to the um, gearbox underneath. But in some cars that can make it vague and lifeless, but this is quite completely the opposite. It feels far more mechanical than in fact it is. It's a wonderfully engaging gearbox, it really is. Steering on the car on these Civics, again, very strong point for them. Um, the track's dead straight, there's no vibrations coming back through the steering wheel at all on the car. Um, it just feels really, really precise on the road. You turn, minimal movement on the steering wheel to get the car moving. Chassis goes with it beautifully. Uh, it's just really lovely and fluid, the whole thing. Just feels beautifully engineered, the whole car. Um, I can't feel anywhere through the steering, feels tight and taut, there's no slack in it at all. Same goes for the chassis, which is a brilliantly resolved chassis. Hondas, um, basically this is their answer to the people who said that the last generation was a bit too hard on the road, a bit too harsh in uh, dealing with some sort of road imperfections. Um, this absorbs even the sharper ridges brilliantly, brilliantly well, and yet still has the same um, wonderful agility that the last generation had as well. It's a fantastic, fantastic chassis. Um, you know, these are predominantly, of course, family cars, but they are family cars with a bit of verve and spirit to them, um, which is sort of so lacking in some of its competitors.
bring up the speed and give the brakes a bit of a shove. That's a really good brake pedal. What I'm looking for again, especially on the initial brake pedal travel and then further down in, is just any kind of signs of any kind of pulsing on the brake pedal or any sort of vibrations coming back through, which would suggest a bit of brake disc wear. Uh, but there's nothing, nothing on this one at all. It's exactly as it should be. Looking around inside, it's in fantastic condition in here. You would never believe it done the miles it's done. Um, I mean, and this is true build quality. And it's an astonishingly well-made car. Not a hint of a buzz or a creak or a rattle from the interior. Lovely soft touch um, plastics on the top now with the um, plastics they used in the last generation Honda Accord up there. I mean, there is some harder plastics further around, but again, all very, very well assembled. Be everything's working exactly as it should in here. The heated seats, the air conditioning, sat nav, um, and you've got this wonderful, wonderful dashboard display in front, which is polarizing uh, because some people love it, like me, and other people's, people don't. And then we know we're all entitled to our opinion, but I think that's a sign of a really good design. Um, what I love about it is this high up display. So you've got the information display up there for the car, trip meter, etc all high up so you don't have to take your eyes off the road and likewise the um, speedo which i think is a stroke of genius to have it up there um, means you can be looking at the you know the car in front the road in front but at the same time out the corner of your eye keeping your eye on your speed at all times without taking your eyes off the road for a second i mean it really is just fantastic down below that we've got a more conventional pod obviously a big dominating rev counter flanked by temperature gauge and fuel gauge there but everything's working exactly as it should. I mean, this is a very, very high quality car. They are beautifully, beautifully done. Um, cruise control works exactly as it should as well. Just check that. Um, but, you know, it really is a fabulous car. As I said at the start of the video, the point of these videos is actually to be critical of them. So if there's something wrong or not quite right, we don't want people coming from a long way away to say, you know, we should have picked up on something. I can't find anything on the test drive of this vehicle to report back other than to say, you know, forget the mileage. It just feels like a very low mileage car to drive. And, you know, we used to work for the Honda dealers. So we know what these cars should be like when they're fresh and new. Um, and this is a wonderful example of a very, very, very fine car. Um, having said that, if I've missed anything on the video, you know, please don't hesitate. Do give us a call. You know, we'll happily answer any questions you might have about this car.